me, Lil Shees, and Dr. Shoes. And we're back at it. Back for another hold or sell. Jordan 13 Starfish. We had uh, five, six pairs. Yep. All gone. These we got are... a men's right now in the gray school, but these are sold. Yep, everything went really quick. I was yeah. actually surprised. All yeah. went locally. Yeah, the stock up and go, they're not doing so good, but locally, people want these. Yeah, it's kind of surprising. And we, we kind of saw these breaking out before, so we didn't even bother going for them on yeah. sneakers or any of the foot size. Because that's the thing, uh, by the time you get your pairs in hand from online, it's the price dips too much. Yeah. So when it's a GR like this, it's not really worth it, unless you want it for personals, yeah. to go online. You want to get them in hand that day, because that's the hot shoe of the week, yep. and that's when you want to sell it. Uh, so let's get into the shoe for first down, a little breakdown. You want to compare the grade schools to the men's? Yeah, let's look at them. To me, right. Go ahead. To me, the grade school is more tumbled. Yeah. The leather is more tumbled for sure compared to two. Yeah. Yeah, leather is a lot more tumbled. I feel like the stitching a little, is a little more darker right here. Yeah. Like darker than this one. Can you see that a little bit? Yeah, I can't really tell. My eyes aren't that good. <laughs> it's a little darker. Um, pretty much you look pretty close. Pretty similar. I mean. One's at $130 price point. One's at a $190. Um, the box is different. But then they're pretty similar. Just the leather's a little more tumbled on the grade school. Yeah. Oh, um, yep. They're different on the bottom, too. You see the lines right here? Mm -hmm. Right here, there's dots. Oh, that is interesting. Not so sure there's, why. There, it's quality in the sole. The sole the sole on the grade school are less quality than the sole on the men's. Hmm, interesting. You want to give them a quick little spin around? Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. Here's the spin down on the gray, I mean, the grade school right here. Tumbled a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. See that. Got the hiccups. <laughs> the orange and the white is a clean uh, block, but it's not for me. Pretty nice. There's gonna be another starfish coming out the quarter fours. Yep, women's women's sizing next week. Yep. Um. So let's get into a little hold or sell. Um. I mean, to me, you gotta sell these, man. yeah. To me, you gotta sell. These are a type of shoe. They're a gr. These are shoes where you gotta. First of all, not really go for them online. You gotta hit in store yep. and sell on drop day and sell in multiples. But don't let go and StockX discourage you. Just because you see them at a 220 price point, 230 price point, it doesn't mean you can't make money. But you're gonna have to get multiples yep. and you're gonna have to sell them the day of. Yeah. So what it is is you could sell them for about 250, 255, make your fifty dollar profit. Yep. Especially grade schools. Yeah. Grade schools are really good, and you just gotta sell five or six and you make. You know, three hundred dollars, and it's all right. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with three hundred dollars. Yeah. So these type of shoes, if you're in it to make money, you just got to get them on drop day. Yeah. Because by the time these come from online, they're gonna drip, dip. Dip. I always drip. Uh, lower, and at that point, you really, you know, you're gonna make five, ten dollars. And if you're selling on, and if you're selling on the apps, then then that's really rough. Yeah. So these are definitely shoes that you can make money on, but you want to be selling them. You want to be selling, you want to them. Be selling them quick. You want to be selling them before you're watching gonna, the video. Yeah, they're going to be dropping down. So, I mean, it's going to take a while for them to come back up. Yeah, luckily we sold all our pairs. Um, that's the thing. Once you have pairs that people you sell to on a consistent basis, then they're just going to hit you up for the shoe and you don't really got to do much, Yeah, which is nice. I don't even ask you, like, just like, hey, can you go for a size of love for me? Yeah. You know? So that's the thing. But um, as far as personals, they're not for me. How about yourself? I'm not a big fan of orange. I think orange kind of, I don't know. I just don't like orange. Yeah. Um, are these going to do super crazy over time? No. I, I, I don't see it. There are just too many Jordan 13s. Yeah. There's nothing that stands out to no me. No one like, is like, oh my God, bro, it's a Jordan 13. Yeah. There's nothing about the Jordan 13 or this colorway that shoots out to me that it's yeah. going to it's gonna go up crazy. Do shoes go up over time? Of course. Any yeah. shoes I mean, go up. And let's try out Scott Worthy's or something, man. Yeah. I don't see these going up. Yeah. So I would definitely um, sell these as quick as you can, unless you want to rock them. Nothing yep. wrong with that. Uh, but I don't see these doing crazy, and they're, they're not doing too crazy at uh, all. I'm just happy we sold ours already. Yeah. I'm glad people like these, which is good. It's cool. People enjoy these. Enjoy them. That's good. We always love giving this sis. Anything else? That's about it. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to sub to the channel. We got that giveaway coming up. All right, guys. Peace.